You know that frantic moment right before a client call where you're scrambling through your notes trying to remember where you left off from last time? What were the action items? Did I ever send that thing I promised? What did we talk about? And that scramble is actually stealing way more than you realize. It's not just stealing those 10 minutes, it's stealing your mental clarity before the meeting even starts. But what if your system just did all of that gathering and surfacing for you? I'm Ev Chapman and I've been coaching knowledge professionals for over a decade and I've spent the last few years obsessing over knowledge systems that actually support the work that we do. So today I'm going to show you how to build a meeting system in Tana where everything you need just appears when you create the new meeting. Last meeting's notes, outstanding tasks, project files, it's all right there in an instant. And by the end you'll have a system where you can walk into every meeting completely ready to focus on what actually matters instead of scrambling for what you need. But before we jump in, if you don't have time to watch endless YouTube tutorials and you just want to build a high performing digital workspace that works harder than you do, then check out my Tana Fast Track course. It will get you up and running in Tana fast. First, you'll learn all the fundamentals in just about an hour. Next, you'll choose from our six core workflow templates that are simple, plug and play. There's not 86 super tags to deal with that you'll never use. You choose what templates you need to customize your workflow. And then you also have our TFT community to ask questions and get direct help from me, plus a load of other resources. Over 600 people have already taken time to fast track and loved it. So if you want to get on the fast track, I'll leave a link in the description below. So I used to waste like 10 to 30 minutes every meeting, just like hunting around for basic things, right? Notes from the last meeting, things I want to discuss, open tasks, documents, you know, all that kind of thing. And, you know, maybe 10 minutes for one meeting is fine, but like multiply that across five or 10 meetings a week. And it's really hours of, of time lost. But now with this contextual meeting system, it's almost like switching on a spotlight as soon as I kind of come into my meeting super tag. So it works in this way. When I come into a meeting, I, depending on who it's with, I can add a person. And if this is coming through Google Calendar, then they're already going to be added in and this tell is going to show. But for this particular one, I'm just showing you manually. So let's say I'm meeting with this person, agendas that I have kind of said, I need to talk to this person about this, they show up automatically over here, as well as any open tasks. So if we've talked about things in, in other meetings, they will come up the side. If you're doing a lot of like delegating or you're working with teams, this is a really great way to kind of like keep track of everything. And then on the other side, if something is about like a certain project, so let's say it's about this project, I then can just add the related project in and suddenly all of my notes, any open tasks on that project, any meetings that I've had about that project, they all show up here in this related section. And this just means that suddenly I've gone from, you know, half an hour of like hunting through trying to find things to like 30 seconds. I'm scanning everything that I need to talk about and then I can bring things into this agenda section. So I just basically kind of like come here I say, okay, I'm going to need to talk about this. I need to check this. I need to talk about these website notes. And you can see like pretty quickly, I can build kind of that agenda from all of the things that have surfaced in that meeting. All right, so to set this up, you're going to need a couple of different things. One, you're going to need a meeting super tag. Most people will already have that. Two, you're going to need an agenda or a to discuss super tag. If you already have the default content that comes with Tana, you would have a discuss super tag. I just renamed mine to agenda because it makes more sense in my head. And then you're also going to need a task super tag. So what you're going to need in your agenda and your task super tag is a related person field. Okay. And so that just means that we can surface things when they're related to a particular person. So if we open up agenda in your agenda, content template you want to add a field that is related people so you can see i've got one here but let's just create a new one so you're going to go here and go options from super tag all right and then you just want to call this related people related person whatever makes sense to you and then just go configure and then go here to super tag and you're going to find your person super tag okay and that's all you need to do there all right so anytime you have an agenda that you need to talk to somebody about so to talk to someone you tag it with agenda or whatever your super tag is called open it up and then you can come in here talk to myself about this i can just assign it to 
myself. Okay. And next time you're in a meeting with that person, this is going to show up. You can do the same thing with tasks. So if you delegate tasks to people, if you're in meetings and you kind of assign tasks, then it's always a good idea to say, well, who is this assigned to? And then you can follow those up when you are in your next meeting. So the same thing applies. So open up your task super tag and your content template. And then what you can do here, you can see I've already got a related people. Now that you have a related person field already set up in your agenda, you can actually reuse that field in your task super tag. So instead of creating all the new fields, we can actually reuse them and it's much easier to set up these related searches in our meeting super tag when we do. So if you come here, just create a new field doing shift period, and then just type the name of your field. And then what you see here is show fields from super tag. And then I can find my related people, um, which I set up in my agenda, which actually is originally set up in my meeting. So all of them share exactly the same field so that it makes it easier to create searches from. All right. So once you have those two things in, then we can go and we can start to set up our meeting super tag related content. So let's come into this particular meeting. You can see that the only related content we have here is previous meetings. And this is just pulling in like it's a recurring meeting. So it's pulling in anything that's in that recurring section. But what we're going to do is set up a couple of different things. So firstly, we want to see the agenda items for people who are in this meeting. So I'm just going to add somebody to the meeting. All right. So then what you want to do is come here to your meeting super tag and open the configuration. So you can just go option shift and click on your meeting super tag and it will open in a new panel. Once you do that, we're going to go all the way down to advanced options. OK, and we're looking for related content in here. We're going to type question mark and that's going to prompt us to create a search node. So in here, what we're looking for is we want to find all of the agenda items for whatever the person is in related people. So how we do that is we firstly find our agenda super tag. Then we go to a new node and we create a field. So shift period. And then you want to find your related people field that you set up in your agenda and your task super tag. OK, and then what we're going to type here, this is really cool, is don't choose anyone here, but you're going to type parent in capital letters dot and then you're going to come here and grab whatever the name of the field is in your meeting super tag and you're going to paste it in. And what that's going to do is it's going to find any agenda where in the related people field is whatever is in this field here. OK, so it's easier just to show you how this works and let's say um, agendas and then if we close this up now you see there's nothing in here. If you find that just close this up open it again and then you'll actually find it. So you can see now this is pulling in. Now, if I just remove this person, they get removed. And if I add them back in, all of the agendas come up. Now, one thing that you may want to do is because all of these are, are done. So I want to just view the agendas that are not done. OK, so I'm going to go here, not done. And then now all I have is one agenda item. And so every time I come in, I can view whatever I need to speak to this person about now. If there's multiple people in your meeting, there's a little bit of a limitation. OK, so I know that I also have a agenda item for Rainy, but it's not showing up in agendas. And that is because this particular search, OK, the parent kind of extension search only takes the first person from the list, which is very annoying, but I can't do anything about that. So if you need to see kind of like other ones, I just change the order and then I can see all of those. You also might want to do something like this. If you have an agenda field or just kind of a node, you can always drag these in. OK, and then I go to this person and I drag that in. And so I have those there and uh, and I don't have to keep switching between. So it's like just a little workaround which can work. OK, so the next thing that you might want to do is you might want to see all of the tasks that you've assigned to a particular person. The easiest way to do this is actually just to duplicate our related content. Right. So just go command K duplicate. We're going to call this one tasks or even open tasks. And the same thing, we're just going to remove agenda. 
and we're going to add task and we're going to go done right now there may not be any open tasks but if i do add the task here and then i come to my related people you can see the tasks then show up here. So this is really handy, especially if you're working with teams, if you're delegating tasks to people in a meeting, even if you're doing any kind of coaching and you assign certain tasks to your uh, people that you're meeting with, you can easily see the open tasks. These two things for me, especially as a coach, when I'm doing you know, ongoing coaching with people is so handy to be able to see, okay, what did we talk about last time? have you worked on those things you know that kind of thing is just like it really gives momentum to the meeting and to kind of like the coaching environment rather than like trying to catch up each time so you're probably realizing by now that this is a powerful way to surface notes from all over your tunnel workspace but watch what happens when i add project context to the mix because this is where it gets really interesting so not every meeting is always just about people. Sometimes, and a lot of the times in my world, meetings are about projects. And so I want to be able to bring projects in and be able to see all of the different things when it comes to projects. So what you're going to need to do, your meeting super tag won't already have this by default. So you want to add a field for related projects. So all you have to do is open up your meeting super tag again, come into your content template, and then anywhere you want this to show up, I usually do it under related people, create a new field. So shift period, then call this related project. I've already got a related project field, so I'm going to use that. But if you don't, you just click on this little icon, change this to options from super tag, and then find your project super tag. Okay, really easy. Now, once you have your related project super tag, you can then go through and see all of your projects and add in the one that you need. And then once you have a project, then we're gonna go back to our meeting super tag and we are going to come down to advanced options and add a related notes. And we're gonna add a new related content section, which is everything related to the project. So come in, create a new search by just typing question mark and go create search node. So in here, we're not actually going to add a super tag. What we are going to do is add our add a field and it's called links to. And this is a really special field. Okay. Oops. Okay, so add this in. And what this is going to find is basically anything that is linking to the project. We then want to type in our parent related project. So parent dot, and then whatever this is called for you, I call it related project. Okay. And it's going to find anything that is related to this project. So, and what that means is it could be, and if you're not seeing anything, just, just bring that up. Okay. So what you're seeing here is any task where I have related it to this particular project. You're seeing notes that I've related to this particular project. And even if I inline mention this project, so if I said uh, need to talk about com that will show up all the way down here. So whether you have it in any kind of field, whether you have it mentioned in line, it will show everything here. Now, there's a couple of things that you maybe do not want to show, okay? You can see, oops, if we open this back up, you can see that we're seeing like searches. So I don't wanna see searches here. So you're just gonna update this. So we have a not field and then is search node. And that will just update in there. Okay, so now we don't see any searches. Now it's up to you whether you want to see tasks and things like that. I do prefer to see tasks, but I don't want to see the ones that are already done. So again, we're just going to look for anything that's not done. And if we open that back up, now what I'm going to see is I'm going to see meetings that have to do with this particular project. I'm seeing notes. I'm seeing just anything that I've inline referenced. And if there were any open tasks for this project, I would also see it. Okay, so then you're just going to want to rename this uh, related project and then go done and then we can close this up. And so now when you look at your meeting, you have 
all of your agendas, you have open tasks for any of the people that are in that meeting, and for any projects that you're talking about, you have all the notes, all the open tasks, anything related to that particular project. And so every meeting I come into, I've got everything that I need, I'm prepared, and I can see it and I can be really present rather than kind of feeling flustered all the time. And if you really want to take your meetings to the next level, then check out this next video on how to use the ton of meeting note taker to handle all your meeting notes for you. And don't forget, if you want to build a high performing ton of workspace, then check out my ton of fast track course in the description below. And if you want more ton of content in your feed like this, subscribe to the channel.